therapist or an infopreneur, or if you use your knowledge to create unique breakthroughs for your clients, this is for you. So here's what we're going to cover in the next 45 minutes. Number one, I'm going to show you how to pick up five new consulting clients at a premium price in the next seven days. And then I'm going to show you how to do that again anytime you want to. So that you've got a system that you can use to pick up new clients whenever you want. But not only that, not just new clients, but I'm also going to show you how to pick up those new clients at $3,000 plus prices for everything that you do. Now, as you guys are going to see, that's actually on the low end of what most of our clients are charging. But we'll start there because <laughs> sometimes I know big numbers are intimidating. And uh, if I come on here and say, yeah, you can charge $10,000 for your stuff, a lot of people are like, oh my God, I can't do that. But you're going to see, yeah, you probably can. Um, so not just how to get those clients but how to get those clients at a nice premium price. And once you have those clients, I'm going to show you how to run your entire business in just a few hours a week if you want to. So you guys that are listening, that are listening to this and you're working you know, 30 hours a week, 40 hours a week, 50 hours a week, you really just got your nose to the grindstone and you, you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel and you're really burning yourself out, you definitely need to pay attention to this because this is going to revolutionize the way that you look at your business. So here's the big three. This is what I like to call the big three. And these are the three things that we must fix, that we must optimize. We have a really extraordinary, right? There's really three of them. Number one, we want to optimize your income. Now to me, that means you should be making as much money as you want to be making, right? I want you to have more money than you can spend. I want you to have more money than you know what to do with. You want that income flowing in the door month after month after month like clockwork so that you never have to worry. So that's the first thing we want to optimize is your income. The second thing we want to optimize is your freedom and your lifestyle, right? Because all the money in the world isn't going to do you any good if you don't have any time to spend it, am I right? So you want to have the time to enjoy that income, to go to places you want to go, to travel, to enjoy your family, to enjoy time with your, you know, your wife or your husband or even just your community. You want to have the freedom to do whatever you want to do. So we want to optimize your income and get that money coming in the door. And we want to structure your business so you have the time and the freedom to enjoy it. Finally, we also want to optimize your contribution. Now this is in a lot of ways the most important of the three. Because look, you can have all the money in the world, you can have all the freedom in the world, but if you're not making a difference in the lives of your clients, of your family, of the people in your community, then it really doesn't make any difference. So I want you guys to be making the most money possible, have all the freedom in the world to enjoy it, but I also want you to really feel great about the difference that you're making in the lives of your clients and the people that you love. So a great business has to optimize all three of these. It really, it really has to be all three. It can't just be two. Well, what's going to happen is you're going to notice that there's something missing and you're going to start to sabotage your business. And I've seen this so many times. So let me tell you what I mean. Let's say that you've got money coming in the door and you, you've got contributions. So you, you've got money coming in the door and you're booked solid and you're making a, a really big difference in the lives of your clients, but you have absolutely no freedom and no time to enjoy it. Well, what's going to happen? You're going to burn yourself out, aren't you? You're going to run out of steam. You're going to run out of gas. You're going to start to wonder, man, you know what? I'm working so hard. Yeah, I'm making a lot of money. What's it all for? And eventually you're going to sabotage that business. And the opposite is true as well. Let's say that you've got a great lifestyle um, and you've got plenty of freedom and you feel like the, the, the few clients that you've got, you're making contributions to them, but you're not making any money. And you're working really hard and you're trying to help these people, but you've got no money coming in the door. That business isn't going to last very long, is it? So it's got to be all three of these. Your income, your lifestyle, and your contribution. Once you make all the money you can, the freedom to enjoy it, feeling great about the difference that you're making. So that's what we're going to shoot for. It's not just about creating five clients in seven days. I'm going to show you how to do that. We want to do it in the right way. We want to do it in a way that optimizes all three of these. Got it? So here's my promise to you. By the end of this webinar, so it should just be in the next 40 minutes,
insulting. And you're going to give them eight copies of your book. And you're going to give them, you know, 50 different audio courses and eight different video courses and all this other extra stuff. Did you base your price on how much stuff you're giving them? Where if it's like you know, just a couple things, you're charging them, I don't know, 197 If you're giving them a bunch of stuff, you think you can charge them like two grand? Well, look, if you're using any of those to determine your price, you are automatically limiting your income. Now, let me tell you exactly what I mean. If you're basing your price on your competitors, right? The question I have for you is this. Why should someone else's reality limit your reality? Just because Dave Davidson decided to charge 200 bucks, why does that mean you can only charge 175? Look, look at it like this. Somebody has to be the best, right? Somebody's got to be the Rolls Royce, Ferrari, Lamborghini of your marketplace. And you know what? I think it might as well be you. Somebody's got to charge those premium prices. So why are you letting someone else's reality limit your reality? If you want to charge a high price, you damn well better do it. Are you basing it on time? Where you're just charging people by the hour? Well, look. That really limits your income because if you think about it, you can only work 40 hours per week at the most. And that's if you are booked solid all day long. And you know what? If you do that, I can tell you right now that you will very quickly start paying your business. And let me tell you this. Trading time for dollars is really the same thing as trading life for dollars. Right? I mean, what is life but just time? Right? I mean, if an hour of your time is an hour of your life. It's a chunk of your life. So if you're trading time for dollars, you're literally trading 40 hours of your life every week for a paycheck. And believe me, that's only going to last so long before you throw up your hands and say, God, you know what? This is definitely not worth it. But you're basing it based on stuff. Let me tell you this. Adding a bunch of unnecessary stuff to try to build a value actually really hurts the client. Because you know what? The client doesn't want more stuff. The client only wants one thing, and that is the solution to their problem. So now that we know that we shouldn't be basing our price on how much time we're spending on what the other guys are doing or how much stuff we're giving them, what do we base our pricing on? I believe the value of your service is based on the value of the outcome you are delivering, and that is all your clients care about. So let me tell you what I mean. Let's just say, for example, that you're, I don't know, a business coach. And you can take somebody whose business is really struggling, and you can turn things around and get money coming in the door every single month like clockwork. What is that worth? Well, I think it's priceless, right? Because if it's a choice between fixing my business and, and seeing it thrive and seeing it grow and all the money to come through it, or watching my business slowly die and go out of business, man, I would pay anything in the world to see my business survive. Right? My business is my baby. Anything in the world to keep it alive. So you start to realize that if you can really deliver that kind of value, shouldn't you be charging based on that? Well, let me give you another example. Let's say, for example, you're a relationship coach and you can take someone whose maybe marriage is falling apart and it's a husband and wife and they're headed to the divorce court and uh, it's just really, really devastating. It's a big, drawn out battle. If you can go in there and fix things and you can save that relationship so that they don't have to go to the divorce court, they don't have to chop up their possessions and have they don't have to divide their kids, um, you know, through shared custody. They don't have to go through all this horror of, of losing a little of their life. What is that worth? My God, that is priceless. So, guys, I want you, I want to invite you to just start thinking of the real value that you're providing to your clients and your customers, and start charging based on that outcome. And I bet you that a lot of you are delivering a value that is absolutely priceless. And if that's the case, that means that you can charge. Anything you think is fair. What is it worth to have the outcome that you provide? That needs to be the basis for your pricing and nothing else. So, look, when you charge higher prices, some really cool things happen. Number one, your clients are reassured that they are investing the best. And what that means is that when we pay a high price for something, we know it's going to be good. Right? If I walk into a Rolls Royce dealership and they point at a car and they say, yeah, this car is $400,000. <laughs> Whoa. Without knowing anything else about that car, even if I've never heard of Rolls Royce, I know that car is probably a really amazing car. And there's a safety in that. There's a comfort in that. Especially when you're talking about a problem that has the ability to wreck your life, like going out of business, like getting divorced, like being out of shape, like having health problems, or any of those things you guys are helping your clients with, right? You would never, if you were going to get um, you know, a major operation done or a major surgery done, right? 
would you go to the cheapest doctor you could find? Hell no. You would want to go to the best place you could possibly get into to have that procedure done. Because you know that if it's expensive, it's probably good. Because most of the time in life, you get what you pay for. Now, when you charge higher prices, right, in addition to being reassured that they're investing in the very best, your clients also come to you really committed. Like, look, if I sign up for something and I spend $100 or $200 on it, it's like, I can take it or leave it, right? If I don't do anything and I don't take any action and I don't really give it any attention, it's only I'm only out $200. But if I spend $5,000 for something, you can bet your ass I'm going to show up committed and I'm going to do the work. And believe me, those are the kinds of clients that you want to work with. Those kinds of clients take action without fear. They take action without desperation. They take action without blaming anybody else. They take total responsibility. They're the best clients you will ever work with. And all that stuff just kind of automatically starts to happen when you charge higher prices. So guys, when, when people come to us, when coaches and consultants come to us to turn their business around, our average client that we work with raises their prices 800% in the very first week of working with us. And they do it successfully. They don't just sit there and say, oh, I'm going to start charging eight times more. No, they charge eight times more and they get it. So charging higher prices is one of the keys to optimizing that income like we talked about. So let me ask you this. If anything were possible, if you were totally forgot about what the other guys are doing or totally forgot about what you've done in the past, and you really just focused on the value you deliver, what would it charge? Thank you. 
$8,000 yesterday. Deals coming in so fast. I lost count of income somewhere after $75,000. And we were keeping track too, and we also lost count. So look, he can't even keep count of how many sales he's made of his program. And it looks like he's actually bumped the price to 8000 in the last couple days. So that's just amazing. So he's crushing it. He's crushing it using an online group program. So let's talk about how you can do this, how you can get like five clients in the next seven days. Let's, let's talk about how we can do that. Well, look, now that we have an offer, right, that can optimize our income and our freedom, let's talk about how to get those five clients in seven days with no advertising. The fastest way to do it is to tap right into the followers that I know you already have. Now, look, this could be your email list. It could be people who are reading your blog. It could be if you have a podcast. It could be people listening to your podcast. Uh, if you just have a big list of clients you've worked with in the past, great. You can work with that client list. Um, even if you have Facebook fans or Facebook friends or tw Twitter followers, any kind of group of people that you've got gathered in one place is the perfect, perfect ground for you to start selling this kind of program. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to send them a survey and I want you to ask them one question. What is the worst problem you have right now? Now make sure that you're asking in terms of whatever your market is. So if you're a relationship coach, don't just say, what's the worst problem you have right now? Because people will be like, oh, I got food poisoning yesterday. <laughs> you ask them, what is the worst relationship problem you have right now? Or if you're a business coach, ask them, what is the biggest challenge you're facing right now in your business? Collect the responses and then just map out a solution to solve the problem. Get the responses. Find out what the number one problem is. Now, I guarantee you that when you survey people, there will be one problem that is right at the top of the list. So think about that problem. Think about your skill set. Think about your approach. And just map out a solution to solve that problem. Then create an offer that delivers that solution. So it could be a group workshop like Tom did. And if you guys remember, like I just said, Tom did this thing with an eight-week program. Every week he gives them some training materials, and every week he answers their questions. That is it. So it could be a group workshop like Tom, or it could be a done-for-you service where you're actually going to go in there and fix this problem for them or solve it for them. Anything like that. But just make sure that it's leveraged. Try to stay away from one-on-one -on -one if you possibly can. I know that some of you guys are probably going, oh, no, I've got to work with my clients one-on-one. It's got to be one-on-one. -on -one. Well, trust me, we have worked with hundreds of coaches and consultants. We have never found a single person, not one, who couldn't put together a group program if you really thought about it. And if you want help doing that, I'll show you how to get that uh, towards the end of the webinar. Okay, so now we know what is the problem that we're solving. Right? What's that number one problem? And we know what is our solution. What are we going to offer? Them? And we want it to be leveraged, and we want to be charging a premium price for it, right? Okay. Then what you want to do is invite all of your followers to a webinar, or maybe even to a blog post that's particularly well written, or to a video, if you like doing video, that tells them the survey results. So, hey guys, this is Russ Rafino. Now, listen, thank you so much to everybody who took that survey. Um, you're never going to believe what the number one problem is. Share that number one problem with them and then use this formula. Okay? Problem, reality check, solution. Got that? Problem, reality check, solution. Okay, let me tell you how that works. The first thing you're going to do, like I just said, is tell them the problem. Hey guys, this is the number one winner. This was a big problem that everyone's wrestling with. Then I want you to spend some time getting real with them about how that problem is ruining their lives and how it's only going to get worse. Because, look, let's be honest, people go through life with a lot of denial. They're not serious about their problems. They like to try to kind of push things under the rug and sweep it under the rug and rationalize instead of really coming to grips with the situation that they're in. So we've got to hit them with that reality check. And we got to say, look, you guys, if you have this problem, it's bad. This is how it's affecting you now. This is how it's going to be affecting you a few months from now. This is how it's only going to get worse. And if you don't fix this, let's be real, here's what's going to happen. And then you show them the light at the end of the tunnel. You prove to them that you have the solution. And you, then you just invite them to reach out if they want to be a part of whatever it is that you're doing. It's that simple. That's problem, reality check, solution. So five clients, seven days. Here's how it works. Like I said, number one, survey your audience to find out their biggest problem. Number two, design a solution that you can deliver in a leveraged way. Now, our clients, most of them do these online group workshops. It doesn't have to be that. It can be anything you want it to be as long as it solves that problem. Cool? Okay. Then, what you're going to do is get everybody together on a webinar or maybe send them to a video or send them to a really good blog post and use that formula. Problem, reality check, solution. Here's the problem. Here's what it's going to cost you not to solve it. And here is the solution that I have for you. And then just offer it to them. And enroll the people who want your solution. That simple, guys. People make 
consultant who works with Spanish speaking businesses. In the beginning, she had major reservations about raising her prices because she thought nobody would pay them. Now, she reached out to her followers using this exact process that I'm sharing with you now, and she offered them a $5,000 workshop. Now, for her, that was a big stretch, okay? It was way beyond anything she'd ever charged before. And here's what happened Diana made 42 sales of that new program at $5,000. She closed $210. texted me earlier I couldn't talk because I was in a meeting but um, just wanted to reach back out to you um, yeah I don't have anything for no class or anything I don't like save all of those whatever you sent me um, so just want, like I said just was reaching back I wasn't ignoring you um, okay can I, can, I, can I say something to you Okay, <clears throat> just want you to know, number one, that I, re I respect you as a black woman, I respect you as a person, all right? Uh, number two, all I ever wanted to do was help you with my gift, because I know what I'm gifted at. Um, number three, some personal things got involved and it kind of just muddied up the waters. Um, and I had to pull myself back out of that and just focus on one, the original component of it. Number four, um, I know that you have your idea about what you think it takes to make money, but what I wanted to show you was something that's so much bigger than money. It's money, yeah, money's in there, but there's also lifestyle, and then there's contribution. And when I tell you that I see something inside of you, I really, really do. And it hurts me to see from the outside someone probably who sees the same gift in you, but they're holding you down. And maybe you don't recognize it because you're looking for love. And you think that that's love, but it's not. Um, but what I can tell you is the stuff that I've been doing with you, just real talk like I would talk to my sister or my daughter. 
That's the bottom of the barrel stuff that you're doing. You're worth so much more. Your value so much more. It's like I can easily show you how to go from where you are right now, honestly, from where you are right now to doing ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars every single month, maybe every single month without hassle. But it has nothing to do with selling hair grease. It has nothing to do with any of those things that people don't need because you're not solving somebody's major problem in life. And the way that I got rich, Mimi, was by solving people's problems in life. Does that make sense? Okay, so <clears throat> with that being said, I, I, I don't want to, I don't think that I'm doing you justice by showing you how to do stuff at the bottom of the barrel. That's not what any of my clients do. We let somebody else do that stuff, but I teach how to create wealth, seriously. And it's a whole lot bigger than what you're doing right now. Doesn't require you taking classes, doesn't retire, require you, um, you know, putting out signs on people's door, door to, doesn't require going to a chamber meeting. None of that doesn't require any of that. But there's certain things that you do that can make all the difference in the world. And I'm telling you that it will transform your life. It'll give you financial freedom. It'll give you the lifestyle of your dreams so that you can travel and do everything that you want on your own without waiting for anyone. And then it allows you to have contribution because you see one of the things with me talking to you for so long is I now know your heart. And you're a good woman. You're a good hearted woman. So. What I'm telling you is that, I, you know, I know you said something about the survey and everything for the hair, but see, I'm attracted to big money. I'm attracted to the high end stuff. How about if you just flipped it and did a different type of survey to the people that are in your group? Just catch one person out of there. How many friends do you have? Maybe you have like over, what, a thousand? On your Facebook page? I can't hear you. You sound like you're far away. Okay. So, out of those thousand people, if I could show you something to just get one of them to say yes, I can tell you for a fact that that's $5,000 in your pocket right off the bat. Right? And now from the 5000 dollars I show you where to put that to make it keep growing because if only one person out of your friends bites then you already know those aren't the people you need to keep marketing to now you take that money and you go up to a higher level of marketing you don't spend it you keep taking the same amount of money and reinvest in it does that make sense huh yeah. okay so if this is something that's interesting to you let me know. If not, all I can tell you is I just, I was just about to give you the best of me. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to walk away from anyone, leaving them in a worse position than when they met me. I could care less about everything else that's going on. But when I walk into someone's life, it's to bless them. So if you want to get out of your way, get out your own way. And watch and learn something that you don't know. And let me show you how to make more money. And I'm not, you don't got to pay nothing else, anything more, whatever's there is there. But I'm, just, I'm saying, let's do it on the highest level possible. So that's something that you're interested in. The offer is there for today. If not, then I'm going to make, I'm making some changes and I'm only going to deal with my high end clients and I can show you how to get the high end clients too, but you just got to believe in yourself and you got to believe in the system that was taught to me by a billionaire. I mean, you got to get out the way. Forget everything that you think is right because it's only taking you to where you are right now. But if you want to go higher, quicker, 
faster lifestyle contribution? That's where it's at. I'm about to be in your hometown, your home state. Next month, I will be in your home state doing business with some people that are introduced to me in Detroit now. Like, this can be done by anybody, anywhere. You don't got to wait on nobody. Not even me. Y'all don't want you to wait on me. I don't want nobody waiting on me. I, I like to move when I want to move, Mimi. Don't you? That's freedom. You know what I mean? So if that's something that you're interested in, forget all the other stuff. I ain't concerned about that foolishness. I would just want to leave you in a better position than when I met you because I've come into your life. And that's my gift. That's what I leave. That's all that's important to me at the end of the day. Yeah. You talking to me? So, I just want you to think on that, chew on that. And if it's something that you say, yeah, I, I, I'll show you how to start working that immediately. But, see, you can't keep going back and forth. Because this stuff, you know, letting somebody rent your place for $150, that's, that's small chump change, seriously. And it's not even, like, you can get so much more using the same amount of energy or probably less. When you really start understanding that you got to help people with their major problems. That's really, that's the secret to getting paid. Anybody tell you anything different, they don't know about wealth. But, um, well, I wow. I so like I said, you can think about it, whatever, you know, um, call me back sometime today after today is off the table and then you just do it as you always been doing it. But when I keep growing and I keep walking into things and I wake up and it's deals on my table like you you would never dream of, um, it makes me it, it, it makes me number one just thank God because I'm blessed. Number two, it's like we we we, so, we, we live you know. Go ahead, go. Ahead. It's. Check out Sir Richard Branson from Virgin Airlines. <laughs> uh, that's one of my favorite quotes in the world. I said, check out Richard Branson for, from Virgin Airlines, that billionaire. I said, that's one of the, one of my favorite quotes in the world is when somebody offers you an amazing opportunity, you just say yes and then you go learn how to do it later. I'm not saying you're supposed to. I'm just saying it's up to you. All I did is I just I put an offer out there. You what?
Can I tell you something? When you say that it's not about making money, that's where you 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 repel it. You repel it. No, no, no. What I'm saying is like it's not all about. Uh, See, let me tell you. Ev- everyone money. who makes money, Mimi, knows that it's not just about making money. Making wealth is a natural order of things. That's the natural way that God set things up. So I don't even have to talk about money. What I was talking about, the two big things, is contribution and lifestyle. Right. Okay. Do you realize hair is a problem for most of America? I'm talking. I'm talking about a life problem. Hair is not a life problem. Okay, life problem. That's personal. That's personal. That's the issue. You know, like paying to health and all that stuff. That all plays into it. It's not just man. It's not just man. It plays in a lot of it. A lot of it. You know. You may not. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you this. In any gift that God has given you, and if you haven't taken it after all of these years and learned how to monetize it, maybe you got to listen to something else. Maybe you need to find something else that gets you the big chunk of money that it takes to propel you in what you really want to do. I know that's how I started out. I know Mr. Schwab told me that. I know Mr. Straw told me that. I know when I sit up in the country clubs, every millionaire and billionaire says the same thing. You gotta prove you have to prove yourself to who? What, what are you what are you talking about right now? There's a lot of stuff. Like there's people there's around me, I don't know who's around me, there's burning, there's none. I don't have that many people on my phone. You don't you like, don't know who's, who's for you and who's for you don't know who's I for you and who's not? Like on a consistent basis, I would like to work, you know, closer with 
This is the thing. No, no, nobody, nobody, nobody jumps from zero to thirty thousand dollars a month. There's, there's a pro, there's a process, and then it may, it may be. Well, I know at least for me, I made five thousand. I made ten thousand doing closeouts. I took that money, did something else, made that money double. Took that one, got a house, made that money double, and that's what I kept doing. I used different avenues and different strategies. It wasn't one thing that went from zero to thirty or when I zero to a hundred thousand. It didn't happen like that. Not for me. Okay. Okay. And that's, and that's great. And that's awesome. But my thing is, if it's not like today or within a week that I have money to be able to put on the desk and do whatever, I can't follow my, my mind with that because I'm the only one person trying to take on all this responsibility. Well, don't you? And see, I, I think you're missing, I think you're missing the whole point. You're really missing the whole point because I just said something that will give you an instant boost, boost, like a, like rocket fuel to help bring some money in so that you can have the time. See, because what's going on is you're trying to do everything and you can't do that. You can't be the, um, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the baker, you know, the, uh, the, the, the baker and the candlestick maker and everybody. You but can't be that. Right. That's why, that's why right now you need one thing to bring in a big chunk of money so that you don't have to be all those things so that you can focus on one thing. So you can have a virtual assistant that you pay $300 a month to and they take care of everything for you. Okay. I understand that. I understand that, but this is not microwave. It's not a microwave. It doesn't happen like that. You gotta plant seeds in a garden. So if you're not willing to put the work in, that's cool. I get it. Most people aren't. Yeah. All right. Well, listen. I just I put an offer out there for you. You can let me know. Let me know. Well, this is this. See, that's that's a fairy tale. That's not business. talking about this has nothing to this has nothing to do with what you <laughs> all right listen I'm gonna I'm just leave it alone because I'm gonna just leave I'm gonna leave it alone listen I'm gonna I'm leave it alone huh go ahead right Everything, everything is, everything is, everything is automated. Like I said, I just woke up this morning with a nice big deposit in my account. Um, everything is automated that I do. So, <laughs> I mean, it's fun. No, because people, you guys act like, you act like, you know what? Listen, listen, I, 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 listen. What are you talking? What are you talking about? I'm not telling. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you about. My, Okay, listen, Jamila, this was, the, this was a, all a big mistake. Listen, you take care. Enjoy your Sunday. Because, number one, I'm not telling you, not, like, why can't you be happy or proud for somebody? They tell you, like, I've been working on something for a long time. I've been working on something for a long time. I woke up this morning and the deposit is there. I've been, I've been busting my butt for this for, like, the last 60 days. 
But anyway, anyway, listen, 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 listen. Never mind. Keep doing it the way you're doing it, Mimi. This was a mistake. Seriously. Keep doing it the way you do. I'm not doing anything. I gotta run. I gotta run because it's not. It's like when somebody has something so big for you that can change your life. It's like, like I, I don't get it. I like that's just how people are, though. It's how people are. Um, but <laughs> no, I didn't expect you to stop anything. I didn't expect you to stop anything. I didn't expect you to stop anything. I didn't expect you. But listen, it's all good. It's all good. I keep doing what I'm doing. You keep doing it your way. If that and that that works for you, that's that works for you. But listen, that's cool. Listen, I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta finish something up right now. I just something you honestly for real. You just came on my heart. You just came on my like you you literally just like flashed across me. And when I looked at what just happened, it's like wow. You need to share this with somebody. You need to help somebody else do what you just did. And that's that's the reason why I called you real talk. Okay, sir. So right. Okay, if you want to work on me with my project that I'm working on right now, you you're still we're already, we're already doing that. I'm talking about something on top of that. That's fine. I have not told you that. I don't you know what I'm saying? I'm okay, I'm done with that. Whatever, I already told you. So you don't ever have Okay. Well I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what to do, Mimi. Okay, listen. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what to do. So you did your whole thing with your survey, right? How, how did that turn out? Well, people are saying that they're not able to submit the form. I went on there and did it myself, and I had the same issue of saying something about you have to put numbers in here. What do you mean, put numbers I in? It says zero to seven. I don't have internet at my house. So well, you, you could, did you, did you, did you call them up or email them and tell them, ask, tell me you had a problem? So what? So what? It would have been, it would have been a day or two down now, and it would have been ready for Monday. You got it. You got it. What just happened yesterday? I Okay. Okay. Con- reach out to them. Whether if there's a if there's a phone number, reach out for the phone number. If not, send them a support and ask them. Hey, show them what's going on. Tell them. Take a snapshot. Whatever. Tell them what's going on. They'll help you out of it. Every little snag, it's it's to help you get better. So it doesn't matter what somebody else says or thinks. You know how many problems I run into? But it helps me to get better. I love problems because I'm a problem solver. So when something like that happens, that's small things to a giant. So you just handle it. You just handle it. And then you tell people, whatever, hey, we're working on that. It should be up in the next 48 hours. Thank you for your patience. It's no big deal. And you go to the next thing. Right? True or true? Okay. Well, we'll get this figured out. Sorry. You know, but uh, we, some technical, difficult, that stuff happens in anything. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, but you say, like, I don't know if that's a little class, you know, workshop, but you said that, 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 you know, I feel like that's a bad yeah, thing. Because but, I'm thinking, I can take that right to you and go, hey, what you think about this? It's not right, right. It is not. You know what you're doing. You know what's right. Whatever you do. So it's not like it's something that's bad. It's like something, something that I need to know. I feel like I should know. And what are you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, man? I wasn't even talking about that class. Where did I come from? You said your little classes and, you know. I said your little classes. classes. And, all, and what did I say? I said, I don't have it. I said, I don't have it. You did, but you said, then you turned around and said, well, if there's little classes, like, that's no big deal. And it's like, I'm going to learn it. And it's like, you don't have to tell me to know. I mean, you probably do what you do. I don't know. It's emotional with you. This, number one, there's nothing emotional with me. It seems like it's something emotional with you because the agreement is Monday, Monday from 9 to 10. Every Monday, four hours of my time every month. That's that's uh, and, and, and to me and to me nothing else. Like I, I have other people that have time arrangements, and then I still have my own life where I like to do things. So this, what do you? Ta- I don't understand. I don't understand what you're talking about emotional. Huh?
listen, listen. Honestly, honestly, I'm going to tell you this. I, like I told you, I respect you as a woman. I respect you as a person. I respect you as a black woman. Um, anything else, none of that, nothing else doesn't matter to me. So if I respect somebody, then that means I'm there. Okay? That's the best way I can tell you. That's how I believe. That's my thoughts. If I respect you, it's cool. You're good. Now, when you talk about a, when you talk about a personal, uh, when you talk about the personal stuff, um, I don't uh, like. I have, I have. I don't. I don't even get you because I've never even said anything about having sex with you. I don't think I don't that that, that, that kind of blows me away because I don't I don't even want you like that. And I'm not I, I, I don't I don't I don't I don't want to sound I don't want to sound like it's harsh or anything, but I'm just telling you I don't even look at you like that. You see what I'm saying? I see what you're in, so I can't look at you like that. And I, I thought that you would like respect me for that. Like I, I'm not trying to make things difficult for you. I don't look at you as like Donald Trump looking at these women. Nah, I, I respect you. I don't feel like that I won't doubt you. We're not going to be sick. It's not a sex. It's not just like that. I mean, it's all over the TV. Wherever you go, it's the, the, the videos are out there. Everything is there about Donald Trump and what he just did and what happened. So I don't know when you say how to, what am I talking about? It's all over the place. You can't, you cannot make a left turn without seeing what just happened Saturday night. But I'm saying it's on Facebook. Every everybody is passing around. It's on the ads on the side. It's like you can't get away from it. Okay, forget about him. I just uh, said his name I because some, yeah. something happened. But anyway, I could care less about that. Well, I want you to, okay, first, something's worth it. That one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So that's a game to me. Okay, the, okay, okay. The thing is, like, the thing is, it's like, I told him that I do you know, watching stuff like that. But I never told him, like, oh, yeah, I'm, you know, this happened, whatever. I never said that. I'm getting to all type of stuff, whatever. But it's something minor, whatever. I was like, okay, you know, because I'm not even writing about this. Like, 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 I'm not even writing that's why like, honestly like that's why that's why I really just backed away from you because when you start telling me when you start telling me that you go back and you tell him and you told me one time that it was a game and you went on you went undercover and yeah, it's like that's games that's games to me and I'm not I, I don't I don't play games and then you turn around and say that I'm playing games so it's like I don't 
I didn't. I, I must have missed something. You said he don't know what. Like I said, I, I just would rather, at the end of the day, real, real, real talk. Listen, I mean, I, all honestly, once, like I told you, I don't, I don't even see you like that. I see, I see you as more like a sister. You see what I'm saying? So I just, I'm just trying to help you. Out. I'm not, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Okay. Okay. What are you talking Why would you, yo, why did you just do that? Why, why did you just go there? Why did you just do that? I mean, seriously, that wasn't, that wasn't, that was love. That was love. No, 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 no. Listen, what I'm saying is that, okay, you just went way back on some stuff, okay, that I forgot all about. But anyway. But anyway, anyway, listen, listen, I just want you to hear this. I said something at a time when I thought something was something different because of now I make, I make a decision and now I don't look at you like that anymore. So today, today, I don't, I don't know. I don't look at, look at you like a sister. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Maybe that'll make things better. Maybe that'll make things better. So if, as a brother, then you're not going to say nothing to me. You're not going to ask me, if, can you come over and, you know, come to a hotel or, you know, anything like that. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Why, why would I want to put myself in that type of fire? Because, see, I know I know how I am. If I want to do something, I, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm very straightforward. So why would I sit there just looking and thinking and not really doing what I believe would come naturally to me? It doesn't make sense to me. So why would I, why would I, tort it's like, why would I torture myself like that? So you stay away from stuff that, that's going to burn you, right? You put your hands in fire? Like huh? You, you really feel, feel like I'm popular? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then say that. What do you mean, then say that? Um, What bo what bothers you? What are you talking about? How do I keep you up and you laying in the bed with somebody else? Okay, listen. Honestly, I see. I don't want to hear that talk from you. Seriously, I don't want to hear you say that you don't give a damn about what he thinks because. You do, you do. You really do care what he thinks. You do. Okay, listen, listen to this. See, I don't, this, honestly, can I be real with you? Honestly, like 100% real with you. I don't know when you're playing or when you're not. Okay. So, I don't play. If I tell you I want to do something, I want to do it. If I tell you I like something, I like it. I don't play. But but when you're dealing with somebody who you don't know if it's a game or not to them, why would I expose myself? Why would I make myself available for somebody that I don't know if they're playing or not? So that goes beyond some feelings. That goes like, shit, I don't want to, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't want to be a fool. That's all. That's all it is. And that, honestly, real talk, that's why I stay away from you because I don't know if it's real or not. I don't know what's real and what's not. I don't know what's real.
I got what? See, listen, let me, honestly, I'm going to be real with you right now. Okay. Can I be real? Can you be real with me? Why, why don't you be real with me too? How about let's just do that? How about don't, 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 don't make me feel like you're playing. Don't make me feel like, 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 huh? What'd you say? See, it's not, it's not even about having any woman that somebody wants. It's about having who you want. I mean, honestly, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you what I feel. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. Nah, that's cool. That's cool. No, no, I'll Huh? You know what? Honestly, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Can I just tell you this, and then I'm gonna let you say what you gotta say, okay? I hear what you say, right? And whenever you talk, I always hear you, and my heart opens up to it. I said, my heart opens up to it. I always hear what you're saying. I listen to you, right? But then it's something else. Oh, thank God for keeping me in the house during a hurricane with my husband. You know, and then it's like, huh? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, as a dude who can have anybody I want, sure. It's like, well, why would I even entertain waiting around when I don't know if this is, it'll be, you know, it'd be different. It'd been different. Like I would have really respected this. Can I tell you the truth? I don't know, you know, who's around you right now, but you know, I, no, huh? Well, well, no, nah, I don't know. I don't. I never mind. How do you, you say that? But then, okay. If the, if I I, I, I I would tell I would tell you no, this in your face, but I'm not. Well, y'all play games like that. You go undercover like that to get me to say something. I don't do that. No, I don't do that. This time I'm saying, it's like this is dirty. It's like this is my last month. 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 I do what I do to stop to stop me from being hurt. Purposely, I would never hurt you. I would only treat you like a queen. Because that's who you are and that's what you deserve. But I have to stop myself from being hurt because when I feel a certain way and I can't have what I want, it's a problem. So, why keep Sometimes I don't even want to hear your voice because it does something to me. So that's why I just back away. I'm like, okay, let me make it easy for you to work stuff out with your husband. I make it easy. I can walk away. You're not married to me. You're married to him. You see what I'm saying? Um, yeah, but you walk away from me. You just walk away from me. I didn't want to get Let me tell you something. Honestly, honestly, like the only, I, I'm, but a lot of t a lot of times I'm in a lot of times I'm in meetings. I, I, I am with other people. You just don't know my schedule. But anyway, um, let me tell you something. The only way that I would probably believe that you were real, like if I ever thought that it was a chance or a shot, and and for you to know that I would wait for you because I thought you were worth it, you would have to show me something. The night when we was out in Dr. Phillips, we was just talking and I was looking in your eyes and I hugged you, squeezed your big round booty, <laughs> right? I'm, I, I apologize, I did, I did I apologize, but let me tell you something also, that's not disrespectful to me. That's what I do when I care about something. So what's disrespectful to you is not disrespectful to me. But I did apologize. I shouldn't have did it. All right? But this is the thing. Like, if I would have... Say, I, say I would have kissed you. That would have told me, okay, well, she's real. Everything is real. I can even risk some things. 
I could show some things. But that didn't happen. And I think that if any time it would have or could have or should have happened, it would have been that night. So it just makes me think it's all a game. So if I think it's a game, I'm not going to run straight into a trap when I know it's laying there. I'm going to go around it. So the talk means nothing to me. Just like you said, your talk means nothing over there. So it can happen for you, but it can't happen for somebody else. Okay, well, let me tell you this. I'm gonna, can I be, let me just be, let me, let me be a hundred. But you know what? You know what? How about how about this? How about if you how about this? How about this? How about if you really think about it? How about if you say, This dude was real with me. He didn't lie to me. I told you I was going out with other people. I told you. So I I wasn't trying to hide nothing I didn't lie, because I'm not a liar, right? But I can tell you this also, I don't know about you, but I don't have sex with somebody when their period is on. So even if I wanted to even if it could have happened, it wouldn't have happened. Yeah. But once again, when I'm in that beginning stages like that, see, I'm I'm not like a lot of guys. I don't have I don't want to jump straight into having sex with someone. I want to find out who you are. I want to, it's the mind. If you I don't know if you how many times I have to say this, or if you heard me say it, it's ninety percent mental with me. So I'm more like a chick when it comes to that stuff because most guys just want to jump into that. I don't because I don't want to make a mistake. So I'm more I'm more careful. I'm playing chess. I'm not playing checkers. I'm more sophisticated here. So I want to see who you are, what you are, because there's something in it for me to lose now. Because if I get with the wrong person and we done had sex and I'm getting all into her, now I'm not even thinking right. And that's how a lot of guys that I know have lost what they have. And see, I did find out the things, it was true. Some certain things that I thought and I saw, I found out it was right. So I'm like, wow, if I would have just been all in with her and we're sexing and all this stuff, like it would, I wouldn't have been able to see it. So I can wait three months, six months. I've I've waited, I've done it before plenty of times. There's no rush to me. If I'm there, I'm there. It's just a feeling out process. So yeah, we can have salads and we can have picnics and do all that stuff. Cool. But I have so much patience and I'm so long and I have to say Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> maybe once again, though, know, you know, everything that you were say, you're saying, I could catch it. I could get it if you wasn't married, though. So it's like you're married, you're already with someone, and you're saying, well, I, well women, okay. women, women okay. look out, women, okay. women check out guys, women do this, women do that. Well, you know what? This is this is my thing, dude. If it's like you say it is, show me. Show me. We don't have to have sex. I can wait. I, I always wait on a good thing because I'm a good thing and I, don't, I know I'm worth waiting on. Right? Uh, okay. Uh, so, I, I just think, I, 
I don't know. I just think that. You know, you know what I would love to do. I love, I love to kiss you. I just want to see how your lips should look so soft. You know what I'm saying? Not, it's not going too far. You know? That would, that would, that would show me that you're real though. That would show me, okay, she's not playing the game with you. You see what I'm saying? And it doesn't have to go any further than that. It would never be. I would never say anything about anything. But just if if you, if that's real though, if what you tell me is real, well then maybe that would happen. If not, then I just look at you like my sister. And if I look at you like my sister, it forces me. I'm not gonna think sexual about you. I'm not gonna think about kissing. I'm not gonna think about hugging you. I'm not gonna think about none of that. Because you're looking at you like my sister. And that's what I gotta do to keep things in perspective. Then if that if that's what keeps if that's what keeps us on a different if that's what keeps us on a different side of the lake, well then that's what it is. So I know that I, I don't have to swim across. I don't have to cross it. I don't have to risk. It could be gators in that water. I don't got to risk trying to swim across some water to get to you when I know there might be gators in there. So I don't got to risk my life. So you stay on that side and I stay on this side and I can just look over there and be like, hey, that's my little sister. That's what I do. And once I categorize, once I categorize a person as a little sister, well, then that's all it is, or a big sister. That's all it is. I'm not gonna allow my mind. I'm not gonna allow my mind to drift. Me. Like I said, once again, you don't have to, don't even make some sex to me because that's not what I'm looking for. You're my little sister. I'm going to help you. It's not left up. This is what it is. Like, real. You want me? I'm trying to be open and real. Like, that's what it is. You're my little sister. Huh? The only thing that keeps you there is sex. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Oh, okay. Well, then, I mean, that's not love. <laughs> you know, see, that answered your own question. That's all. Okay, well, that's 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 all right. That's cool. As long as you identify what it is, uh, that's what that's what I found out. That that's what it was with my ex. Um, sex, sex out there for sex. I would let, I would, I would tolerate everything, and she would take advantage of me. And you know, when 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 the time came, and I'm like, I'm tired of this. I want you to get the hell out of here. Or, you know, or I'm out. You know what she would do? She would say to me. This, I'm going to tell you my, her exact words on here. Whenever there's a problem. Now, here we are. We're over here in Dr. Phillips, gated community, Benz's, all this stuff. Everything going on. She got everything she wants. When it's that time. And I'm like, get the hell out of here. Now, I'm, I'm the type. I'm like, look, here. Here's your ticket. I'll pay for it. I'll drop you off. Call the limo. Whatever you want to do. Um, so she would come and say, a little robe on. Come, I'm in my office downstairs and uh, take off, drop the robe off completely butt naked and say these words to me. Do you want to fight me? 
Ursachen. And sex was good, not gonna lie. But after a while, you get to the point where it's like, well, this person is holding me down. Like, I, I, I can't accomplish my dreams, my goals. We don't have anything in common besides sex. And, um, but it took me a long time, like maybe 12 years to get past that. But as soon as the sex is over, it's right back to the bowl. She falls right back into what she used to do all the time. So it was like you're using sex as a tool that's not love. And once, once I got apart from her, I could see everything. And I'm like, wait a minute. I can't believe I stood here for all this bull that she's putting me through. But because you're in the middle of it, you can't see it. But everybody else can. My brother, my mother, everybody's telling me, what are you doing? Like, you're smarter than that. But I couldn't even hear them. And I would go back and tell her what they were saying. And, oh, they're jealous. Oh, they don't know. It's all the same thing, the same excuses. Dudes coming around saying this and that. Oh, they're lying. Well, well, well how are they lying? But now as I'm backed away, I'm like, well, I see you doing the same thing. It's a habit. It's who you are. So I don't, I, 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 that, that's, that, that's, that's why, watch this. Watch this, watch this. That's why I refuse to jump into having sex with someone before I see who they really are. That's true. It's got me away there. Like, I don't let it for a while. Like, yeah, she waited too, and I found out. I found out that she freaking had me, like, staked out already. Because they saw me coming up in real estate. And I didn't think that a person would just lay around and wait that long and then come around you and get real to you because they've already had it planned out. And however long it took, she was always there, always a friend, always there, whatever I needed, always there. I'm like, wow, this is different. You know what I'm saying? But she already had a plan and however long it took, that's how long she waited. Because at the end of the day, she got what she wanted. And I'm just not going to be played. I felt like a sucker. I'm not going to be played like that. No, I do feel like that too. I feel like I'm playing right now. And I can't do nothing about it because it's No, you can do something about it. Okay. You choose to stay in it. You choose to stay in it. But watch this. Watch this, Mimi. Watch this. Watch this. Let me tell you something. Watch this. When 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 someone's been hurt, when someone's been hurt, Typically, that person does. They either gonna do it or he's not gonna do it, right? The same things that hurt him. If you if you're bitter about it, you're gonna keep doing that to everybody else. But if you're like, you know what? That's not even my heart to want to do that to someone else. So, I just step back. I step away. So at the end of the day, I made a decision to finally end it, and it's the best thing that ever happened in my life. And I, it hurt so bad in the beginning. I'm gonna tell you, like so bad it hurt me for years, for years. So, I mean, it took me like, like even sometimes now I, I think about it, but it's like, I know now because I see her ways. I see what she's doing. I see how sneaky she was. I see how calculating she was. And I'm just glad that it ain't me no more. You see what I'm saying? And now I'm just going on doing my thing and I'm doing more, you know, but even when I was around her, I felt like I couldn't get my full potential. And it just seemed like she was cool with me getting to a certain level. And then not, 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 she didn't really, she didn't really want to see me go to another level because she was afraid that, you know, she lose me. So when I hear you say this stuff, yeah, it's like, 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 oh, you more love, you right. So he's telling you right now that he's not going to do anything to let you make more money because that's his fear. So. It's your choice to stay in that so you'll never make more money because he ain't going to let it happen. Right? And because you're dependent on him, he can control you. But it's like you got to be I'm not even going to say you got to be smart. You are, you are smarter, but love makes people dumb. I found out I love made me stupid. Made me stupid. And I'm sitting back now and I'm like, I would never go for that boat. Right. Like, I'm so oh, much better than that. I'd rather be a
Well, that's game. That's game. See, game recognize game. See, you know what I'm saying? So because the way that he would tell it, like also everybody young would just dog you out. Really? That's not, come on. That's not even reality. That's not even reality. That's, that's the tricks that they use to keep you down because they feed off of your fears. And I used to say, well, I, you know, I'm not going to do this because at least I know what, at least I'd rather it's the devil that you know versus the devil that you don't know. Well, nah, that's not how you live life. So, one day, one day, I just honestly. I can't be around because I care about life. Like that, like I respect you. I can't be around you. But it's because, but it's because you're married. You got to be my sister. You got to be my sister. If you had the strength and the courage, if, if you if you had the strength and the courage to walk away, if you had the strength and the courage to walk away, I tell you that I'd be there for you to catch you. But you don't have the strength or the courage to walk away because see, you've been years and years of this programming, programming. Oh, nobody's gonna do that. Oh, it better be with an old man than the young. Oh, well, it's pro. You believe it, and you believe it. You believe it. Well, her, that, that's not what the average person does. That's not what the average person does. So, I mean, you, those are fears. 99% of the fears that you have will never, ever happen. And you're holding on to those fears, though. And you they become reality. You can, If you tell a lie long enough, it becomes a truth in your mind. So when somebody puts something negative, especially if it's negative energy, number one, I never listen to somebody putting out negative energy. I don't care who you are. You can't put out negative energy to me and try to use it as fear for me. So that's not love because people don't try. Love doesn't hurt you. See, it in the Bible, it tells you what love is. Love is kindness. Love is meekness. Love is long suffering. Right? Love is temperance. Love is, come on now. If you're not doing that, I know what love is. Come on, please. Love ain't fear. Love ain't trying to scare you. Love ain't trying to keep you down. Love ain't trying to use you as a trophy. Nah, that's not love. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. As long as, long as you're in that energy, as long as you're in that energy, in that space, nothing will ever change. Trust me. One day, five years, ten years, however long it takes you to get the faith and the courage to step out on your own, one day you're going to be like, you know what? That dude sees me. really told me the truth. Damn, I wish I would have listened to him. Because it's the energy. It's where you're at. It don't matter. It's that energy is in that house. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. But you know what's funny? Is that what, what you're so afraid of and what you're holding on to, you probably have your mind blown to know that it probably even still gets better. But you're holding on. You're so afraid. To, sex. You're so afraid to hold on to what you what you have. You're so afraid to let go. And not even knowing that there's tons. Of, I'm gonna tell you right now. Same thing. Old girl used to tell me. You ain't never gonna find nothing better than this. I'm like, what? Yeah, you told me that, and then you came along, and I'm like, what? Because this man, he just mad about that. Yeah. Like, he had going on. Yeah. He just saw man. Yeah. He yeah, that's what they do. That's 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 what they do. They hold. Can't you see? Look. Like, yeah, you are. Yes, you are. Keep it real. Keep it real. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Let's keep it. We're keeping it real. We're keeping it real, though. So whenever you mention my number, you can you can disappear, and he's automatically gonna think that you're with me. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it 100% real. Keep it 100. But let's keep it 100. You know, you know what, you know what he's thinking. You know what he's thinking and you do, you do use me. You do use me. You do. Right. 
Well, that's not that's not healthy too. It's like you can't you have to have time for yourself. Yeah. So I mean, you can't you can't say no to me. You can't say no. You know that, right? Yeah, but I don't have to leave right here with him. I was like, damn, I have fifteen. But it's like I don't know. Listen to what you just said. Listen to what you just said. I don't want to leave him her alone with him. Well, listen. You shouldn't be thinking about. You shouldn't even be. You shouldn't even be thinking about uh, kissing your brother anywhere. So let's let that let that go. That's what I'm saying. That's why you stay. You'll stay on one side of the lake, and I'll stay on the other side. Why can't be on the lake? I like lakes. Okay. Okay. So, can we can we do that horse thing together? Do what? Can you do that horse thing? Thing? Did you say you can do that? Can you do that with me? What? You, I said I never did what. In the o- not on the in the ocean. I want to do it in the ocean. No. Listen. That's that's the that person that I do that with. That's a very very special person in my life. I can't make plans with you once again. I got. I'm not. I don't. Anyway. I got to finish up here. I got some stuff I got to take care of. So, and then I want to just go out and have, uh, have me uh, lunch. Uh, well, I hope you enjoy your day. Um, I appreciate you talking because it could have come on. I'm not going to talk to you all the time. I'm not going to talk to you. Oh, boy. All right. All right, no problem. I got to run now. I'll talk to you later. Right? Yeah, number one, I'm hungry. Number two, I need to finish something up. Number three, I'm going out. Huh? 
All right, then. You have a great rest of your day. I gotta run, I mean, seriously, yeah. I gotta run right now. I gotta get ready. What? I gotta get ready to go. I'll talk to you later. It was great talking to you. Right. Talk so to are you gonna talk to me tomorrow? Yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah. All right, so, so let me run. I listen, I gotta run right now. We just respect my time. I gotta oh, respect right. your time. All right. All right. Take care.
and she was nice. She said, thank you. Learn from the best. So Diane is just crushing it. She's doing $100,000 a month, and now her goal is to get to $200,000 a month consistently. I have no doubt she's going to get there. So guys, look, today I promised a few things. I promised how to pick up five new clients at a premium price in the next seven days, how to do it again and again anytime you want, how to walk you through that step by step. I showed you how to command $3,000 plus prices for everything you do, because you can see, based on what our clients are charging, that's kind of actually on the low end. And I promised I'd show you how to run your entire business in just a few hours a week if that's what you want to do. So guys, look, Tom, Diana, Diane, the three clients I've told you about, let me ask you this. What do they all have in common? Well, what they all have in common is that they did what the pros do, and they got the help that they need. They wanted to achieve extraordinary things in their business, and like professionals, they went out there and they got the help that they needed. Guys, look, in my business, like I told you at the beginning of this webinar, we're trying to go from $300,000 a month to a million dollars a month, and that is a big, bold jump. And guys, look, we run into snags and challenges all the time, and every single time we run into a challenge, do I sit there banging my head against the wall trying to figure it out myself? No. I reach out, and I call in the cavalry, and I hire the best people I can to give me the solution to that problem guys that's what professionals do that's what tom did that's what diane did that's what diana did and the proof is in the pudding they're enjoying incredible results in their business because they reached out and got the help that they need so let me ask you this would you do laser eye surgery on yourself <laughs> right i mean it sounds like a crazy question but would you ever do laser eye surgery on yourself would you grab a laser pointer and some duct tape and set up a little thing in your garage if you needed laser eye surgery hell no Right? You would hire a professional, and you would probably hire the best professional you could find to do that kind of work on you. Right? Now, let me ask you this. How much do you think the average doctor in the United States earns? Right? The average doctor in the United States earns $175,000 a year. So, if you're talking about making $20,000 a month, you're talking about making more than most doctors. And doctors, guys, go to school for eight years to learn how to do what they do. Plus, they've got their residency, plus they've got all this other stuff. So they've made a massive commitment to getting the best education they can just to earn $175,000 a year. So guys, look, if you would not do major surgery on yourself, if you wouldn't do laser eye surgery on yourself, why would you ever do major surgery on your business when that's just as important, guys? If you think about it, your business ties into your freedom, your income, your lifestyle, your kids' futures. Can you pay for college? The, the experiences you're able to give your wife or your husband, so much depends on the health of your business. So why would you ever, ever try to do it yourself when there are trained professionals just ready, willing, and able to help you? So look, right now, you have a choice. On the one hand, you can just choose to keep struggling. You can choose to keep depending on referrals or word of mouth to get clients. You can choose to have to keep crossing your fingers and just hoping that the new clients are going to show up every month. You can keep charging less than what you're worth because that's what you see everybody else doing. You can keep working way too hard but not enough money small or if you're done settling for all that and you want to just start getting the perfect clients at the perfect price anytime you want and if you want to build a real thriving business that earns you 20 30 100 200 thousand dollars a month well it gives you the freedom to do what you want when you want making the contribution that you want then here's what i have for you my team and i have set aside some time in the next 48 hours to talk to you personally about how you can apply these ideas that I've shared with you to your business starting today. So look, I believe that you're on this webinar for a reason. You didn't end up here by accident. And you know what that reason is. Maybe you need more clients. Maybe you're not charging enough. Maybe you're just attracting the wrong kind of people and it's stopped being fun. Maybe you're working way too hard but not enough money coming in the door. But look, there's one thing I can promise you is this. Whatever your biggest challenge is, we've seen it before, and we know how to overcome it. We've dealt with it hundreds of times, and we want to help you overcome it, too. So look, here's how this whole thing works. Either myself or one of my coaches will get on the phone with you in the next couple days, and we're going to work together for a solid 45 minutes, and here's what we're going to do with you, okay? Number one, we're going to pinpoint your ideal client, and we're going to figure out exactly where those people hang out online, and we're going to give you a roadmap to reach them. So if you're having trouble attracting clients consistently, or if you're attracting clients, but they're, they're anything less than the perfect client, then this is going to be a lifesaver for you. You're going to know exactly who you want to work with, how to reach them, and you're going to have a roadmap for doing that consistently month after month after month. It's going to be awesome for you. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to help you figure out the perfect price that you should be charging for your services. Because look, if you charge too much, right, no one's going to pay it. But if you don't charge enough, you're leaving a ton of money on the table. So whatever your business is, every single business on this webinar has a perfect number that is right there. It's right in 
video consultant or um, a graphic designer or something like that. We're going to help you identify what parts of your service you can cut down on, what you can dial back, what you can delegate to someone all together. And so whatever you're doing, we're going to leverage it so that it creates more freedom for you and not less. So look, just imagine for a second what your average day would be like if you were earning twice the money in half the time and working with your ideal clients, right? That'd be pretty great. That's what we want to map out for you. And then finally, once we know all that stuff, once we know your ideal client, what you should be charging, and how you're going to deliver your stuff so you have more freedom, we're going to help you craft a perfect plan to hit your goals in record time. So we'll help you identify the exact next steps that you should be taking to just power through any obstacles or challenges and crush your income goals and create a perfect business for you and a great service for your clients. So look, how much is this going to cost, all right? Well, look, here's the deal. The cost is absolutely free. There's no deposit. There's no charge. There's no there's no catch. There's no obligation. There's nothing. It's completely free. You get a solid 45 minutes of our time, completely free, and it costs you absolutely nothing. And look, after doing uh, uh, you know dozens of these with people from all over the world, I can tell you, believe me, this is going to be the most powerful and the most impactful 45 minutes you have ever spent working on your business. Problems that you have now that are driving you crazy are going to evaporate in that 45 minutes. And, and you know you really have to see it to believe it. But it's amazing, and it happens every single time. All right, but here's the catch, though. This is not for everybody. Now, I wish that I could help every single type of business out there, but I just, I can't. So here is who this is for. You must have knowledge that solves a major life or business problem, and it must be able to command a premium price. So look, I don't care if you're not charging what you should be charging right now. That's probably one of the reasons that we need to talk. But you've got to have something that has the potential to really change lives or to change businesses or both. So let me give you an idea of who that is. We work with coaches, we work with consultants, we work with attorneys. We work with people who provide a really great high-level service, things like PR or design or SEO or marketing or sales training. So basically, if you provide a service that transforms people's life or their business, then this is for you. So you should own your own business and you should have landed your first client at least. But on the other hand, if you don't own your own business, or if you're selling like essential oils or something like that, this is not for you. You must be outstanding in what you do, and you must hold yourself to the highest standards of integrity. So that means just, you know, no, no get-rich-quick stuff or anything like that. I mean, no judgments if that's what you're doing, but it's just not, it's not who we help. So basically, in a nutshell, if you can look me in the eye and say, Russ, I'm fantastic at what I do. It's a really valuable service. I just need more clients. I need to command higher prices, and I want more freedom in my business. Then I would love to talk to you. So if that's you, book a session right now. So look, why are we doing this, right? I mean, if this is free, why are we doing this? Because you might need our help. That's the truth. After we help you pinpoint the perfect price and the perfect target market, the perfect offer, the perfect everything, you might want our help to make these changes and start transforming your business like Tom, like Diana, like Diane and our other clients. So, look, we do this because we love giving back. We love helping business owners achieve their goals. But, you know, at the end of the day, you might want us to, to help you transform your business. And if that's the case, then, look, we're happy to talk it over with you. We can discuss it. We can see if it's a good fit for both of us. If not, that's fine, too. But either way, you're going to leave that phone call feeling great with a crystal clear plan to get the most out of your business. So, look, before I give you the link to sign up, let me just tell you this really quick. There's, I think, around 150 people on this webinar right now. And the truth is, you guys know this, there's only so much time in the day. So there's only so many people I can talk to, only so many people my team can talk to. So here is what I want you to do right now. I want you to go to russrafino.com forward slash apply, or just click the button right on the side of this webinar that says sign up now. So click that button, and what's going to happen is it's going to take you to our calendar page, and you can just pick whatever appointment time you want. It's totally up to you. Uh, all the available appointments are right there, so just pick the, pick the appointment time that you want, and we're going to call you at that time, and, and we'll just go to work. We'll go right to work, taking all this weight off of your shoulders, and you're going to walk away with some real solutions to whatever's going on in your business that's not working. Because look, like I said before, whatever you're struggling with, we've seen it, and we know how to fix it. So look, you need to know who your ideal client is. We're going to help you with that. You need to know
know where you can reach them. We'll help you with that too. You need to know what you should be charging them, how you can deliver your service in a way that's fast and fun. And we're going to help you do all those things and eliminate all the confusion and just show you the path. So if that's what you want us to do, go to rossregrino.com forward slash apply or just click the button on the right. So look guys, uh, before we call it a day, um, there's just one more story that I wanted to share with you. And, and the reason I want to share this is because this one I think, it's like the most, the, the, the best client result we've really ever got. And it, it goes way beyond just income. I mean, this one really encapsulates what happens when income and lifestyle and contribution, the big three that I've been telling you about, what, what really happens when all of them come together at the same time. So this is from our client, Tracy, and this is what she wrote. She said, hi, Russ, I wanted to email you because I really want to thank you for being in this world, for choosing to share and create your program and your team, and for pushing us to eliminate all boundaries. Before this program, my personal life was literally falling apart. But having to do this made me research and really go to the depths of my soul and rediscover my connection to myself, my higher intelligence, and the universe's higher power. I've always secretly wanted to be able to move others to such a place that they can move everything in their world. I never felt capable, important enough, smart enough, or happy enough. This process has made me figure all that out. Between your course and all the work I did on the side to improve myself, my husband and I have so far been able to save our marriage. That's huge as we've struggled the entire 10 years we've been together, and I mean struggle. We've almost been divorced and almost separated numerous times. I now know what was missing and what part I played in it, and my husband is getting there, and I believe we'll remain open to it, whereas before, maybe he wouldn't have. I'm also so much nicer to my children. Anything that happens to a mother is that isn't received, dealt with, and processed properly is going to come down on the kids. It's inevitable, and this happens with fathers too. You and your wife, Russ, have a great foundation, and I know that you'll both be phenomenal parents. And finally, she said, I'm more than happy to pay you guys. It gives me great joy, actually. I love the integrity, the love, the empowerment, and the ever-present spirituality with all the team members. I truly feel that you and the team operate out of your spirit, heart, space with intentions of changing the world. I feel supported in a matter I've never experienced. And the even cooler part is that I've never had face-to-face -face time with any of you, but I still have that strong of a connection with the team. I've wandered around my whole life with misconceptions, assumptions, poor psychology, and I've allowed everyone and everything to control my happiness and joy. That stopped with your mentor. That was beyond anything I expected. So a huge thank you to you and the team. I'm going to go pick up a new client, <laughs> Tracy. So guys, look, I, I shared this with you. Because the truth is we've talked a lot about money on this call, and that's great. But the truth is that your business affects every part of your life. It affects how you are as a parent, as a wife, as a husband. It, if you're single, it affects your confidence. It affects how you move through the world. And I know how much it sucks to have a business that isn't working. And when your business isn't working, you know, nothing is working. So the, the least you can do for yourself is to reach out and get some help especially when that help comes from someone with the kind of amazing results and track record that we have, and especially when it's free. So like I said, the thing that separates the professionals from all the rest is that the pros reach out and get the best help on the planet when they have a challenge. They don't wait. They just call in the cavalry. So click the button on the right, go to rustrefino.com forward slash apply, and we'll give you a proven plan to create the exact business you want, and it is absolutely free. So look, that's all the time we have for today, you guys. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I will speak to all of you.